It's an honor and privilege to be here, and firstly, I would like to recognize the territory in which we are on, of the Mississauga of the Credit River, Seneca, Haudenosaunee, Huron-Wendat, and the Petun First Nations. So, my name is Melina, and I actually come from the Tar Sands. I'm a member of the Luba Concrete. I've been working on Indigenous rights for the past 12 years, but more specifically on Tar Sands for the past eight. And downtown here in Toronto, it's a far away place from the Tar Sands, but it's actually Bay Street that is financing what's happening in my home community. As a child, I saw the very pristine, beautiful boreal forest that I grew up in, and I was born and raised in Alberta, and I was traveling on the horse and wagon with my Kukum and Musum, and it was a beautiful, beautiful way to grow up. And what I have seen since then, is immense changes to the land, to the air, to the climate, and to the water, to the people, to the, and to the animals. Where I come from, until my generation, my family was able to live sustainably off the land. And it becomes harder and harder to do that. People and animals are sick and dying. And now, across the tar sands, we are, su we are surrounded by operations across northern Alberta. We have also seen immense oil spills, like the one that happened near my family just a few miles away. It was one of the biggest oil spills in Alberta's history in 2011. And my family called me, texting me, telling me they couldn't breathe, that their eyes were burning, that they were nauseous, that they didn't know what was happening because they weren't actually being informed as to what was happening right beside them. And what we found out five days later was it was a massive oil spill, 4.5 million liters, 28,000 barrels had leaked into our traditional territory, overtaking even beaver dams. So for me, that was a really traumatic experience and understanding and a major eye-opener of how traumatic and terrifying that oils can, oil spills can be when, you're, when it's so close to home. So what we need now and today is Canada needs to accelerate the transition to, from destructive climate polluting sources like the tar sands and build a green, just economy that many of our communities so desperately want and need now. The time to act on the glowing, growing climate crisis is getting shorter by the day. Communities deserve justice. For many of us from impacted communities, the choices are literally life and death. It's time that Canada stops burying its head and bring about a just transition. In Canada, we are so well positioned with such highly skilled workers that we can actually do this transition and create long-term jobs. There are economic alternatives for our families and our communities. We see solar revolutions happening in countries across the world, like Germany, where we see 400,000 jobs from renewable energy. Even in the heart of the tar sands, we can build a different kind of economy with clean energy and green jobs without compromising our families and our communities. This is why in this, this summer, in the heart of the tar sands, I will be helping my community implement a solar project back home to power our community. A just transition needs to prioritize communities like First Nations that are already impacted by dirty fossil fuels. A just transition means that our communities will no longer be the sacrifice zones. Everyone and every roof can be a part of the solar solution. Canada should aim higher and commit to generating its power from 100% renewables. We cannot exacerbate the problem of climate change around the world by burning fossil fuels where millions of people are already experiencing detrimental impacts from climate change. We have been looking down for far too long and we need to look up. And we need to turn our gaze towards the sun and realize the true potential that we have and that exists here and now. We must choose to build healthy and vibrant communities before it's too late. So solar panel by solar panel, we will show politicians what true leadership is. Hi, hi. <laughs> 